How's it going? Carl here. Today in Power BI, I'm going to be showing you how to do some dynamic indicators in your Power BI reports. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and be sure to leave some comments down in the comment section if you have any questions, feedback, or tutorial requests. Let's dive into some Power BI. All right, guys. So now that we're in Power BI, we're going to be focusing on some dynamic indicator icons. First things first, we have some year slicers here, some chiclet slicers, and we also have some cards with the previous month, total sales, and the variance. To accomplish those measures, I first did a total sales measure, which is here, and then I did a previous month measure, which is here, and then I did a variance measure, which is here. So if you want to set this up or follow along, feel free to pause the videos at those marks and you can kind of follow along. You can also find the data down in the description. All right. The next thing I did to this is I wanted to be able to show my months in a row. So I did go ahead and add a month number sort and you can do that there by just adding an extra column to your calendar. All right. So let's go ahead and dive into the dynamic indicator icons within this report. First thing we're gonna do is wanna go ahead and click on this matrix right here. And we wanna go to our values. When we go to our values, we wanna hit this drop down, and then we wanna go to conditional format. In conditional format, you have a few different options that you can select from the background color, font color, data bars, icons, and web URL. The one that we're looking for is icons. Now, when you click on icons, you're going to get the icons variance for that particular measure that you selected. You're going to get format style applied to what field should we base this on? Then you're going to get the icon layout icon alignment as well as the style. Now, knowing that we just want to show a green for positive and a red for negative, what we want to do is go ahead and just eliminate this one in the middle. And now we have our red and green indicators. You can flip this around by just clicking down on this. And you can say, go ahead and give me a, I'm looking for a green up arrow, which is here. And then you can go down here and say, give me a red down arrow. <clears throat> Next thing we want to do is we want to come here. We want to just say greater than. We want to say greater than zero, but we want to change this percent into a number. And then we want to come here and we want to say less than. But we want to say less than the greatest value that a table can read which will be 100 E9. Then you want to change that percent to a number. And then you're done with that first rule. The next rule, you want to say greater than or equal to. And then you want to say negative less than the greatest number possible. Then you want to change that percent to a number and then you just want to change this to a less than and you can just change that to a zero and it's going to be red until you change this to a number as well once you get that accomplished you guessed it you just gonna hit okay boom now we have a dynamic indicator letting us know that whenever this number is negative we're going to get a red arrow pointing down and whenever this number is positive we're going to get a green arrow pointing up in addition to that we can change this to being on the left side or the right side. And I just went ahead and hit OK to show you guys that if you don't change anything, it's going to automatically put it on the left side. We want to see it on the right side. So what we do is we go back in here, go to conditional formatting, go to icons, and then we want to say icon layout. We want to just change this to the right side of the data. Then we can just hit OK here and boom. Now it's at the right side of the data. One more thing that we can do is we can eliminate this variance number altogether and just let us know were we positive or were we negative. By doing that, we go right back in here to conditional formatting. We go to icons and we just get rid of the data and we just say icon only. So now we can just say icon only. You hit OK. And now we have a variance without the number indicator. And it's just the arrow pointing down and the arrow pointing up. Good thing about this, you can hover over it and it can still show you the value, but you won't be able to see that value right off the bat. Now that you have that done, as you select through the different dates, 
you'll be able to see 2019 and you'll see those indicators change those dynamic indicators change 2021 and so on and so forth you'll be able to see those indicators change so that is how you set up your dynamic indicator icons in power bi reports i hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment down in the comment section i'm open to any kind of feedback thank you guys for watching i'm carl peace before you go if you're new to this channel here's a chance for you to subscribe and make sure you smash that thumbs up once again Make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. And if you want to check out some more videos that may help you learn on the go as you grow, you can do so right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.